Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at our storm, which is starting, actually started already right now, um, as we have some rain moving through already. Um, although the in, most interesting part of the storm, the most of the snow and the sleet and the freezing rain doesn't really happen, get going till uh, tonight. Um, although the, by this afternoon, we could be into some of that. So let's take a look at how this is shaping up as we go through. Our forecast. First of all, you can see the storm is kind of coming through in two sections. We're kind of in the first section right now, which is pretty light and basically heading off. And then you can see there's a bit of a break in the clouds. And then this storm, which is really starting to get going, a second area of low pressure. There's actually several areas of low pressure along this front. Um, is starting to drag. Uh, is pushing, pulling a lot more moisture up. And this is really going to be where the heavy precipitation is. And but still, this front, which is a little hard to pick up on satellite, but we'll show it to you. Uh, in a second on the radar, um, is moving eastward, and it's going to settle kind of during the heaviest portion of the precipitation right across southern Vermont. Of course, uh, making the forecast really complicated for us, but um, uh, also uh, giving us a chance at some of the more uh, high-impact issues with sleet and freezing rain, particularly um, all those snow for the northern areas here in southern Vermont. So, uh, as you can see right now, temperatures uh, cold to our west, we do have some cold air which is sinking in. You can kind of see it a little bit on radar as you can see the radar echoes, uh, the radar wants to interpret these echoes going from rain to snow in places in western New York and even up northern New York. And this is starting to move through. Um, and this front will continue to move slowly southward. Uh, but here across southern Vermont, for the most part, this morning we are just rain, although there are a few slick spots, uh, particularly east of the greens. Um, some of us stayed right around freezing. So back roads particularly wouldn't be surprised if there was a couple of slippery spots. <clears throat> I had about 33 degrees in my house this morning, so close enough to be cautious if you're out there. Main roads, I'm sure, are just wet. Be cautious on those, on those back roads this morning. Um, temperatures, as you can see kind of here, you can see Cooler air, but a little sub freezing air is still well back up to our north and west. So this is going to move a long ways. A lot of this is going to happen during the day today, um, but then that transition will kind of set up right across southern Vermont, um, and that will be the battle zone between um, the snow, which will be to the north, um, obviously, and then the uh, sleet and freezing rain uh, to the south and eastern areas. So let's take a look at trying to nail down the timing on this. Um, these maps are similar to what I showed you yesterday, but they're a little bit different. I think today, basically, there is no mix really today, uh, maybe except for some of that light freezing drizzle this morning. But I think um, basically snow, and this will be in the light form at 4, that should say 4 p.m. this afternoon, sorry about that, um, snow, in Rutland and uh, most of northern Windsor County, and then rain basically for all I think of uh, uh, Bennington and Wind and Windham counties, um, and even up into places like I think Weston is still rain most of this afternoon. Um, even to a place like Cavendish and up uh, even to a place like Windsor, I think is probably rain through this afternoon. Uh, but then overnight, things get interesting. Um, all of this precipitation basically in a line similar to where it was rain before changes. The snow kind of stays where it is, but the cold air drags down at the surface first. I um, mean, this is when the heavy precipitation is happening Thursday night. Really, it's Friday. It's really, you know, it's 1 a.m. Friday morning. But uh, where we see, and I think most of us go to sleep for the most part um, at the higher elevations and also kind of in the northern part of this. But the valley locations, Route 7 corridor, certainly down in Bennington, maybe all the way up to Manchester, um, and then uh, certainly the Brattleboro area, um, Dummerston, and then up to uh, as far as Dulles Falls, I think, freezing rain could be a particular problem. Um, and those are the spots that need to worry the most about power. Um, everybody's going to be terrible to travel. Sleet's terrible to travel on. The snow, it's going to be enough snow that it'll be tough. Uh, freezing rain's terrible to travel on, obviously, as well. So all these ish areas will have lots of issues. Um, by Friday morning, that has crashed down so that we're just seeing a little bit of sleet mixing at the very southern border of Vermont. Um, and that's where the accumulating snow is going to happen for most of southern uh, Bennington and Windsor County. Oh, sorry, Windham counties. <laughs> um, and that's where these areas, which are going to get less snow because a lot of sleet is going to mix in, but they will get their snow accumulation basically uh, Friday morning. Um, and light snow could, Friday morning, uh, moderate snow probably lingers through about 8, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and then it's light snow could linger almost throughout the rest of the day. Most of the accumulation is done, I think, by noon on Friday, though. Everything else is just sort of in the air. So let's look a look, take a look at air and location by location, snowfall forecast, dominant precipitation types. So hopefully this gives you an idea town by town of roughly what you're looking at. So if you're up in Brandon, you're all snow basically. Once you change over this morning, you'll probably change over by this afternoon. You're looking at about a foot of snow, 11 to 13 inches. Rutland, same kind of thing. Uh, I think you're looking at 12 to 14 inches, a little bit more, more in the way of liquid equivalent in Rutland, but basically all snow, I think by this afternoon. Pulteney, same thing, 11 to 13 inches of snow. 
Dorset. Want more sleep mixed in in Dorset. Um, so I think seven to nine inches, and that's a heavy to seven to nine inches, particularly the first three or four inches of that is going to be a lot of sleet and a little bit of snow. Shaftesbury, um, sleet and freezing rain, four to five inches. And then a place like Bennington, a lot of freezing rain is your dominant precipitation type before you get three to four inches of snow, I think, on the back end of the storm in Bennington. Bennington would be a spot I'd be a little worried about um, issues with uh, power outages. Along the spine of the Green Mountains, if you're in Rochester, Plymouth, all snow, 13 to 15 inches. Weston, snow and sleet, 7 to 9 inches. Again, once that snow gets going, um, Weston's one of those towns that could definitely, this could, number could go up or down. If it's more sleet, this could be as low as 5 or 6. If it's mostly snow in Weston, you could be 13, 14 inches of snow. Wardsboro, I think mostly sleet, 5 to 7 inches of snow. Uh, and sleet. Wilmington is mostly sleet, a little bit less, more, and a little bit of freezing rain in Wilmington as well. And then Whitingham, same kind of thing, sleet, um, but even more freezing rain there, three to four inches of snow in Whitingham. We take a look at the ski areas. Uh, so Killington, probably this is the best out of all of our skiers for this 15 to seven inches of snow, 17 inches of snow. Okemo 10 to 12 inches. Bromley and Magic is where you start to get the snow mixing in. I think Bromley will get quite a bit of snow out of this and mostly snow maybe, but quite a bit of sleep too, especially in the beginning. So nine to 11 there. I think Magic gets quite a bit of sleep, seven to nine inches. Same kind of thing as Stratton, probably quite a bit of sleep, unfortunately, eight to 10, although that's not bad in terms of just building base kind of issues. And then uh, Mount Snow also gets quite a bit of sleep and a little bit less accumulation because you get a less snow on the back end. So five to seven inches of snow for Mount Snow. And then east of the Greens, oops, before we get to that map, east of the Greens, oops, did I skip my east of the Greens? Where'd they go here? Sorry about that. East of the Greens, Norwich, mostly snow for 10 to 12 inches. Reading, snow and some sleet, 8 to 10 inches. Springfield is a lot of sleet, 5 to 7. Grafton, sleet, 3 to 5. Halifax, a lot of freezing rain, only 2 to 3 inches of snow there. I'd be worried about power if I lived in Halifax. Brattleboro, same kind of thing, freezing rain, 2 to 3 inches. I'd be worried about power if I lived in Brattleboro. Uh, so let's go to power outage threat. This map has not changed. I think basically the same places. The main issues are really in uh, Route 7 corridor, particularly southern Route 7 corridor, um, down to the uh, Massachusetts border, and along the Connecticut River, particularly in the Brattleboro area, up to about Bellows Falls. I think that's your most significant threat of power outages. In terms of snow totals, this map has changed a little bit, but not much. 10 to 16 inches in the pink, uh, 6 to 10 inches in a stripe. This got a lot of sleet in it. And a lot of sleet in the northern part of the green and some freezing rain and mixed in in the green section as well with three to six. And then just two to four here as we change pretty late uh, in southeastern uh, Wyndham County. All right. Uh, so that basically uh, lets you know what's going on. I'll be back tonight. I'll post uh, a comment in all of my uh, on all of my descriptions telling you where I'm going to be uh, in terms of uh, for a, a live uh, discussion of what's going on. I think I'm going to do that at 7.30, but uh, timing's not 100%, so I will definitely let you know, and I'll provide the link so that you can check my live feed. Those tend to be longer. They're about a half an hour. to give you a chance to ask some questions. Otherwise, I want to thank you. I uh, encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't before. That'll help uh, make sure that you don't miss any of my videos. And also, a uh, big shout out to my patrons who have helped support what I do here, and thank them for what they do. And uh, also, just encourage you, if you're interested in becoming a patron, there's some benefits to that, and also, it's just hugely helpful to the channel. So, um, if you would uh, if you want, you can take a look at the link there, and it gives you uh, some options for how you can become a patron. Uh, otherwise, uh, I'll be back tonight with an updated look, and then tomorrow morning I'll be back with a, a, your normal work weekend forecast, which obviously will be kind of the second half of the storm, and then the rest of the weekend, which thankfully looks quiet.